no doubt this video is going to infuriate some people, but as the comedian says, I find it hilarious. Yes, what I did here is legal, but it's also moral. Turtle eats cute little woodland creatures. Tim eats turtle. Say la vie. Look at this dinosaur I found. He's in the creek outflow of a one acre pond. One of the meanest animals in the world. Snapping turtle. Sometimes you get lucky and you catch him going from one body of water to another. Oh, don't bite my camera, don't bite my camera. <laughs> I got my trusty recurve with an arrow with a broadhead on it. There we go. Pretty sure he's down for the count. One eternity later. There he is. Got it. Don't stick your finger in there. <laughs> It'll still bite you even after it's separated. Now I've butchered countless fish, small game, big game, and livestock, but I've never butchered a snappy boy, so bear with me as I try and figure it out. Doing the same thing on both sides. Clipping through this shell right here. <laughs> this beast is still trying to walk even though he doesn't have a head. <laughs> There we go. Put it all the way through there. There we go. Whew. <laughs> this skin is tough, I'll tell you what. Oh, man. Not a perfect job, but a job nonetheless. There he is. Junk. Please excuse my panting in this video and all the other ones. I have a heart problem, which makes me winded easily. Look, he's obviously dead and has no head, but his heart is still beating. Wow. <laughs> Barely cut through this with all my strength. Here we go. Trying to skin this shoulder out as best as I can. The skin is extremely tough to cut through. That yellow stuff is fat, which you probably don't want to eat out of a really old turtle. It has lots of PCBs in it. It's coming out. I got to go over here. Cut around the shoulder blade. He's full of water. Look at all that water and blood in there. <laughs> you got to cut around the, the bone, which I, I can feel it. I got it. Getting that shoulder meat out. There we go, there's the shoulder. With some skin on it, voila. Beautiful, look at that. First time for everything. <laughs> Get this other shoulder out. There it is, find the joint. I'm gonna slip my knife right under it. And Pop it out. There we go. There we go. There we go. Second shoulder meat. Just gotta skin it. Cut around that ball joint on the back leg there. There we go. I got it. See it right there? There we go. There's a hind quarter. Still got to skin it. Oh, there we go. Final hind quarter. Very cool. Getting this junk out here because it's in my way. Yuck. Got 
gotta get that neck off. There you should be it blows. Nice. Painstakingly trying to skin these hind quarters and the front quarters as well. Almost done with this one, just gotta cut the foot off. Here's all the skin and junk. Here's the meat. Yeah, the skin is so tough. I'm gonna try and skin this tail first. I'm trying to skin the dang tail, but every time I go to one side, it flips over to the other. <laughs> Skinning this tail is such an incredible pain in the butt. Many months later. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, girl. <laughs> this thing was a bugger. It was really caught in there. Oh, there it is. A beautiful, a little bit muddy tail. I'm gonna clean her off. All skinned. Here comes the fun part. These are the back straps. And you gotta clip them out. Just very slowly and carefully peeling away these back, back straps from the shell. Just trying to get, get my knife under there. A little bit at a time. All right, took a long time, but well worth it, I'd say. That's the tail, that's the neck. These are the tenderloins. These are the quarters and the other quarters. All together, pretty nice haul. A lot of good meat. Ain't that cute? I'm carrying back all the meat stuffed in its own shell. <laughs> All right, we are gonna be cooking some tenderloins. All righty. Number one. And number two. Oh yeah, looks a lot like fish, honestly. They really shriveled up quite a bit. My first turtle, piece of tenderloin. The flavor is really nice. It's, it's mild, very mild, but man, is it chewy. Wow, that is definitely the chewiest tenderloin I've ever had in my life. Just for closure's sake, I threw two of the quarters and the neck in the crock pot with pickling spice and garlic and stuff, and it was much more tender. <laughs>